Hello, YouTube. Can we talk about packaging for a minute? So I think at this point that the zero waste movement has made enough of an impact that most people have heard of it. Many people are definitely trying to reduce the amount of waste coming out of their household. Um, I think the majority of people probably are trying to just make better choices in regards to the environment. Sometimes it's really hard because the options that are out there aren't always helpful for that. And in my house, we're far from perfect, but we are definitely trying to make some better choices and to learn about what options there are out there and to make choices so that we're not putting as much stuff into landfills and into wherever it ends up going. Um, but sometimes, we have a little bit of a dilemma because we're also trying to reduce our budget and reduce our debt, reduce our spending. And sometimes the option that is better maybe for the environment isn't necessarily feasible for us. And right now I have a pretty specific choice in front of me and I'm not really sure what to do. So, uh, over the winter, I had set myself a goal to learn to bake bread. So obviously, if I'm going to learn to bake bread, one of the things I had to invest in is yeast. And I've been baking a lot of bread. We've pretty much stopped buying any sort of bread at the store and make it all at home. And that does help with the zero waste thing because every single loaf of bread I bake at home is, you know, a plastic bag that's not going into the garbage, not going into the landfill. But when I'm buying my yeast, we have two pretty specific options at my grocery store. And they, these options are definitely a price versus waste decision that I have to make. So, so the first time that I bought yeast, I bought this kind. It's four ounces. It comes in a recyclable jar. I can throw this whole jar in the recycling bin or I could reuse it around the house if I had a use for it. I can only reuse so many of these, I, I would run out of room if I tried to keep every single jar of yeast I ever buy. Um, and it costs $6.79 for four ounces of yeast. And then I have this option. This is eight ounces of the same active dry yeast and it costs $5.89. And this is both at my local grocery store. It might, it's probably gonna be different at your store, obviously. Um, but this is single use, non-recyclable plastic that has to go into my garbage. I've used both of these, obviously, and I can tell you that they both seem to work about the same. So it's not a quality issue at all. They are both work just fine. Um, but I don't know. Do I go with the one that costs more than twice as much for the same amount, but comes in recyclable packaging? Ideally, I would like to say that, yeah, that's absolutely what I wanna do because it's better for the environment, it's better for everybody around me. But my wallet tells me that getting twice as much for less money is the better choice. It's a really difficult decision for me to make and I feel like this is happening a lot in our society right now like it's very difficult to make the right choice and I'm just curious what would you do